Hey guys, is it recording? It's so bright and light. Where is my tea? So I'm just here on a walk with Khaleesi and felt like sharing. It's all about acting from the heart. That doesn't might mean that you don't use the intellect to rationalize and understand. That's what it's there for. It's a tool. But it's this movement back to the flow, to the heart of being. Heart doesn't mean just your feelings. Heart means from that innocence, the innocence of being. Sometimes we think that heart means just the feeling inside the body. But it's a combination of everything. It's also the rational thinking, like informing yourself about situations as well. So everything ends up becoming an act of love. Even if it hurts people, even if people dislike you for it or misread it, it's actually the most loving way you can be, to be totally yourself. What happens when you're identified is that you act out of yourself. You don't act and do your flow. And so therefore you begin to resent people and things for making you act out of your flow. You don't even know you're doing it. So you do mean things to people. You're not even conscious of it because often there's a living in that contracted state so you don't know a different way. And so being a speaker of this isn't about me taking the power and me saying I'm the teacher and I'm going to teach you something. It's about me trying to remind you of your natural flow, your flow of love. It's not a personal thing, it's not coming from the person. It's not coming from separation. It's not coming from the intellect or feelings. It's just the natural flow. It's in love. And the way that you are or step into being in love is being more and more honest with yourself. That might not always be honest with people around you. I'm not saying you have to tell everyone everything or you have to give yourself to everybody, but it's honest with yourself, stepping into that flow. And it's like love. If you want to know what it feels like, it's love. Like this stream, it's just this flowing. <laughs> it's not a very good description, but it's like, don't listen to my, the intellectual words too much. Feel it, feel it. It's so beautiful. And sometimes it's scary acting from that energy because you know how people would like you to act or what they want you to do and then you know this natural organic flow and even I get afraid sometimes to let Lisa's song really sing because people are going to be scary when they don't get what they want there when their darkness comes up. But you're never going to be able to give them what you want. You may be able to put plasters on it for a little while and give them band-aids and um, make them feel like they're getting what they want. But eventually you'll disappoint them because nobody can give you your flow. No one can give you your love. You are love. It's just you're pretending to be something separate and small. You're pretending that you've forgotten this. There's not even a you there. There is just innocence everywhere, expressing itself, just coming out of itself naturally. And this illusory you is not you. It's a functioning that appears. And that functioning that appears can be all types of things. It's not about being enlightened. That would be another cage. It can be vulnerable, it can be sad, it can be scary. I keep trying to record myself crying because 
I want or to be or being angry because I want people to see it you see me as just speaking about non-duality and I look happy maybe sometimes you see me angry and talks but I look happy and I wanted to see you let you see me cry and let you see me shout so you get all of it so you can never feel deceived in any way you see all the humanness of Lisa normally what happens with teachers or gurus or public figures is that you have an image of them in your head and you want to stick to that image so I want to contradict that image but sometimes when I cry I forget to record it because you're like um, you're totally involved in crying but also I don't know if I cry that much so yesterday I felt like crying and I was in the park and I was like it's coming it's coming and I quickly got out of my recorder and then it stopped and I was like it's coming it's coming and I got out of the recorder and it stopped So eventually I will just put up a video of me crying, but I've just got to capture it first. I've got to remember, and then I've got to absolutely capture, up, actually capture it, because it's hard to do when you're crying. And of me angry as well. That's also hard to capture, because when you get angry, the last thing you're thinking of, must record this. Just one moment, let me get the recorder. <laughs> And what happened on the retreat was I made everyone, this last retreat I just did, I made everyone do these exercises where they would say what they wanted, like tru truly what they wanted, or they, they had to do these different things, different honesty things. And it was so, and I did it as well, and it was so beautiful because the more and more you become yourself unashamedly in all your imperfections, it's the most loving thing you can do to others because then it allows them to be themselves. So in this retreat, what was so beautiful about these exercises, like doing these honesty things, was then it gave everyone permission to be more themselves, to relax into it. Normally we want to pretend we're perfect or we want to pretend that we have no imperfections so we can hold power over people, so we can be better than other people. And when I showed my vulnerabilities, what I was afraid of or what made me sad, I felt like it deeply relaxed the group. It was so sweet, they were like, ah, I'm okay. Yes, you're okay. You're a celebration of life. Yes, you are perfect in all your imperfections. That's it. It's like falling in love with the dark and light. That's what this life is about. Not just trying to get to the light, but it's falling in with love, with duality with the apparent duality of this, it's a dual world and seeing the non-duality in the duality which is love, hate, anger, joy, peace, unpeace, whatever the opposites are, female, male. I don't want power from you. I don't want you to think I'm better than you. I want to express my love to you. I want to make love to you. But not literally. But make love. To make love truly with someone is when you just are yourself with them. That's true love. And you should try making love, like actually having sex when two people are just being their selves. It's so divine. Ooh, yeah, yeah. When two people are just there in their vulnerability and their nakedness and they actually make love, it's like one of the most beautiful expressions of this lie. Ooh, my leg's getting hot from the sun. So this is, this is uh, near where I live in the south of France. You can hear the river behind me. We're just on the morning walk. It's actually, that's actually a pathway, where it's just turned into a river because there must have been lots of rain last week. So it's all coming down from the hills. Everything's beginning to bloom. You can see it beginning. There's Khaleesi. She's eating the grass.
this is a bit of a makeup video as well for um, the Ustream last night. We had to take that offline, unfortunately. Oh, my leg gets hot. The more you become yourself, the more you'll realize you're not full of nastiness. Nastiness comes when you feel like you can't be yourself, when you feel like you have to be something for other people. The more that there's a coming back to center and life just expressing itself. Yes, humans are humans, and humans act from their conditioning, so they act from the way that they've been conditioned and um, their genetic inputs and their intellectual information. They act from all of that. But they're not inherently bad. And there's that flow, there's not that sense of wanting to hurt people or make people less or smaller than you. Even though they might feel it sometimes around you, there's not that intention. The intention in every moment is just love even if they annoy the hell out of you, because humans can be so annoying with their different opinions and projections. Sometimes. Especially when it's your job to deal with the, these projections. And your job is also to bring it up in the people as well. To expose it. People do mean things because they're living in a story of themselves and by living in a story of themselves they need you to be the opposite to whatever they're being in that moment. So if they're feeling lonely then you need to be someone that rejects them. If they're feeling abandoned then you need to be the abandoner. If, if they're feeling annoyed then you need to be the annoying person. If you, they're feeling scared then you need to be the scary person or the comforter, whatever they need you to be. There is no solid people, they are their response in that moment. We can describe that response, but none of it's true. None of it's true. You just say it in that moment. So it doesn't mean that I don't say things. So if people are being mean to me, it's not like I don't confront it and say, you're doing this or you're being very passive aggressive. But at the same time, I say it and then it's gone. I don't really mean it about them. Normally when we put projections on people, we really believe it and we mean it until that cloud passes. But sometimes it needs to be said, otherwise people will bully you. You need to point out their stuff, otherwise people can be quite harsh. Kalisi! Kalisi! Kadag, He barks at all the forest spirits. In case you thought I wasn't absolutely a loony tune, I am. And I do believe in forest spirits. Come on, Khaleesi. And she can see them, I can't. Come on, Ease. Khaleesi. Chick, chick. Come on. Chick, chick. Come. Amazing how she knows when I'm going to offer her food and when I'm not. Come on, wrong way, silly girl. Where did you go? Come on. Yeah, get that, get that, get that, get chick, chick. You're behind the fence. Come round. Go round. Go round. Amazing how stupid dogs can be sometimes. She can see forest spirits. You know, concerned now. Oh my God, I'm following a, a Looney Tune. I'm listening to a Looney Tune. Yeah, yeah, you are. I'm a Looney Tune. <laughs> the Buddhists believe in them. Um, forest spirits as well. Not just me. I'm sure there are. But 
that doesn't make me less of a loon. But I'm a loon that loves with all my heart. I love you. I love you, Khaleesi. And if you think that I think that you're not a loon, you're wrong. I think all of humanity is a loon. I remember Eckhart Tolle once saying, all humans are mad. The difference between an enlightened person, myself, and other humans is I know I'm mad. Where they're mad and they think they're sane. <laughs> It doesn't really matter. We could talk about anything. It's all about the energy. You remembering yourself through me being myself. It's got nothing to do with me. It's that I am, that beingness. That's who you are. That sense of being, that innate sense of being. You believe though that you are something. You are a name, you are a feeling, you are a word, you are a description. And therefore you suffer. For you are, this is. The thing about eating grass is it's really hard to swallow sometimes. You can see why we, we, we didn't choose to eat grass and we chose more lettuce and um, other vegetables. Grass is very hard to chew and swallow. Kalisi! Oh, there you are. That's okay, you can stay there. You watch for those forest spirits. Yeah, hard to think of things to talk about. Nice weather, isn't it? <laughs> when I was a kid and I used to walk my dogs, so I must have been about nine or ten. I remember that I used to walk through the forest and I used to talk to myself. I'd just say everything. I wouldn't talk to myself as in I was believing I was talking to myself. I, believe, I was like pretending I was talking to someone else, I think. And I would just say everything that I wanted to say to everybody, to that person. That was very relaxing. It's amazing how naturally you're doing these things. Naturally our body is trying to guide us home. I look back on my childhood and all the things and my life and I can just see how it's a perfect guide now. At the time I didn't think that. I was thinking my life was going wrong or that things were bad or it would never happen to me. That everybody knew better than me. And really my body was gently guiding me to all the right places and all the right time, no matter how much they hurt. And even now, if there's any left karmas in this body, if there's anything that I would sometimes like to shy away from, it brings it up. I sometimes, I think um, being a female, and being a single female, sometimes I have a little tendency towards fear. So I got Khaleesi. And she makes me, because she's not very friendly with other dogs, she can be super friendly, but not always. It means that we always have to walk in really remote areas with all the forest spirits. Yeah, sometimes I get afraid. <laughs> um, yeah, and sometimes we have to do it at night because she's constipated or she's just desperate to go at night, so then I have to do it in the night. I'm like, yeah, thanks, Khaleesi. Here we go. <laughs> so, life always brings you everything. And sometimes I think I can... I can... Um, I 
And sometimes it's a little bit scary being a public figure on the internet um, and being so vulnerable to that and uh, um, putting yourself out there so much. And sometimes I think it's a little scary the um, aggression you can get off people and the darkness that can come to the internet as well. And so life puts me there in the internet, in the public eye. It's beautiful. And it doesn't let you shy away from any of it because it's all you. All of it's you. It doesn't mean that I don't get proper security for my computer, which I am trying to, to do after having some problems last year. And um, getting more computer wise and internet wise. Like people recording me when I don't want to be recorded and yeah. Doesn't mean that I don't say no to that and um, stand up to that, but at the same time there's also that energy which has to accept everything on a deep level. On the human level there could be a big no and a rejection, but on the ultimate level there's such a deep acceptance of it all. It has to be, of every part of this. Every part. And a lot of people don't like this, me being honest like this. Some people find it deeply relaxing, but the reason you don't like it is because everybody's trying to get rid of their dark part, and they believe that's it, of things that scare them. And it's not about getting rid of it, it's opening to it continuously for infinity. Opening to it all. And it's kind of a delicate dance, because it's not exactly the human that opens to it. But in some bizarre way, it happens through that human form. Which kind of is the human that opens to it and not. It's hard to put into words. It gets messy, you can't put it correctly. Telling me I have low battery power. Go, Lucy, you're doing a grand job. You can have some chicken. Chick, 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 chicken. Here you go. I mean, this is the stuff that we hide from. So this is Khaleesi, who I love and adore, and her favorite thing is a dead animal. There's so much in denial of the light and the dark. All of it you've got to embrace, every last bit of it. You can't escape it. And it's all you. Every last piece. Yeah, you like that? She likes the chicken. Okay. I think my battery might be running out soon. Although I still want to make love with you. Not war. Love you. Bye.